Hey everybody, welcome back to the doomed ship Blitzkrieg. Super Scion leader, some spider lords, some spitting centipedes, shell boys. These guys seem a little weaker, so I think this is a good place to try to build, but yeah, we're not... Oh. <laughs> we're not in love with this situation right now. I know this is like, you're too power, you can rebuild your grid, I know. I know, okay? I'm gonna start on the baby one. The big revelation from the last episode is that I'm bad, but secondarily, the... You have extra movement now, so you're fine here, I think. The tank can now shoot. Which is just like a dream come true. It can do actual damage. Okay, well, I mean, I, double one damage is not that amazing. Please move into such a position. Oh, let's go! Okay. Why is this good? Well... It's not necessarily. I'm just gonna say that. If you move here and shoot, what happens? Okay, so you definitely get a kill. You guys are still going to be a problem, though. Like, I love that because it does damage and blocks the spawn. I'm looking at, I'm like, turn one. We can't avoid grid damage. I don't buy it. We have to deal with all four enemies. The tank now, like, I'm like, you put him here. It's not a very shrewd move, I'll admit. Um, they all have too much HP. Unless we can do some galaxy brain stuff and, like, get them to hit each other. Oh, no, 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 no. If you find a way to put one in whip range... But even that is, it doesn't seem that good. You know what I mean? Like this, we can block a spawn, get a kill, and then hit you. Does it even push you? I don't think it pushes you. And then how am I gonna kill you? I just block your shot, I guess. How much damage you do? One, and this Lord still lives. So we need to like create a conduit. And I hate that it it's acid. That's just like the worst. This is an extremely tough turn. To be straight up with you. The fact that we're still only dealing two damage with the whip is catastrophic. Well, the generator is very important because it's power and it's a bonus objective. So that has to change. But you're not a good, uh, you're not a bad one to hit necessarily. We can always block that. So it comes down to like, can we block it and do something productive? Like... Obviously I can still whip you here, but you're unkillable. Dude, this is a very annoying turn one. I feel like I'm on the cusp of something good, but I don't know what it is. It's coming down to like, shoot a rock here. Move the tank here and then whip everything, but we don't do three damage, so almost nothing actually dies. I think I have to let you do one damage to this building and hope that it survives. And that burns me up inside. It really does. What if you... stand in the acid... shoot here. You do one damage, block a shot, you whip... These guys go down. Shoot this... Maybe there's one other thing I can think of, which is something along these lines. You do three damage, don't you? Because you're one HP. Frick. So you gotta go. This sucks, man. It's like extremely lame. And you do five damage. That's just exceptional. 
And I can't eat, I gotta shoot you from like this direction, push you into the acid. It's not even gonna do any damage! Oh my lord. Well, I think you have to block a shot. How much damage do you do? You do one damage? You do one damage when you hit the power plant. Ah, ah! Well, I hate this. I'm looking at the conveyors, like, is there a galaxy brain option here? This is longer than our entire first mission took us last time, by the way. I just don't see a way except for, like, friendly fire that we that we do something here. Like, the first I idea I had for this turn is so good. Blocks a spawn, kills an enemy that's going to kill a building. And what were you gonna do after that? You gotta whip this guy. Wait a minute, is he starting to... He's starting to piece something together. Okay, hear me out here. Oh, but you're gonna... No, it's still... Okay, this'll work. Do conveyor... conveyors happen first? Shoot! Whip. Pull. Alright, life is pain. But nothing has died. On turn one. That was horrendous. Everything about that sucked and I never want to see it happen again. Okay, so I'll be I'll just level with you. Obviously, our tank cannot stay here. Ideally, it would go. Yeah, here is fine. And then just shoot this guy, do two damage, ice him. I'm just gonna do that. Um, really easy way for our tank to actually get some experience as well. And then I think, why don't you move here? Shoot to block this. Ah, oh, but we're gonna bust it anyway. Yeah. It's still good though. Even though they're still gonna spawn, we get two kills as a result. All right. So straight up, I think like that galaxy brain turn that we had might be the thing that saves this campaign. I'm not. I mean, if the campaign ends up being saved. Then it was a big help. There should be ways to do this, but I'm like, Can that, yeah, that'll knock you on there. How do I kill you, though? Shoot you into my own teammate? Seems a little rude. There's got to be a better way. Um, so we can definitely kill this guy. Unfortunately, this guy, we can just move, which is bad, but... Because it does zero damage if it's one tile away. How do you kill this guy? Oh, it's just, it's like the actual easiest thing in the world. You'd hit him with like one of these. And then you'd smack him. And I kind of like that, just so we can take out an enemy who's annoying. He's going to move anyway. I think. Is there any place we'd rather be? Like, to be able to come here and repair instead? Yeah. Alright, we got two annoying enemies. But, you're just going to move. And in fact, I'm looking at this like, even the spider, dude, you're not doing any damage. Look at this. Oh, 
Now, ideally, it would be able to move, but, you know, so be it. It's not like anything's going down here. At least we get a kill. All right, that took a long... Turn one was incredible there. To find that uh, 200 IQ line felt really good, even if other people discovered it in about half a second. So that's a great start. Take less than three grid damage, protect the coal plant, protect the clinic, block Vex spawning. This is more our speed plus corporate rep, but we kind of need grid. I think it's better to get grid power early, I guess is where I'm coming at this one from. Blood Scion is a regen, right? Yeah. So we need to hit you for three on turn one. This opens us up pretty nicely, I think. Hopefully not in a way that proves to be very fitting. Annoying. Annoying. Oh, you're done. So. It's pretty clear that, like, well, to some extent, like, a rock here just finishes the job for us. really prefer not to stand in the acid but I'd really like to get a kill but if you stand in the acid it's gonna be really it's gonna be bad because you're gonna get zapped and you're gonna die on turn one which is really dumb uh, it's another bad idea this doesn't seem as hard as our last situation so I, I do feel like there's probably a sensible way out I mean right off the bat you can kind of look at it and be like, okay. A zap works really... Like, stand here, block a spawn, zap. Sure, this guy takes one damage. Who cares? Um, you know... Oh, no, he doesn't, actually. We only get a kill. So it's it could be worth more, but... Maybe we can get in this, like, real galaxy brain stuff. Now, that'll lead to that guy attacking a building. We should really count our lucky stars that on turn one we're pretty blessed with the way this looks right now that would push you into that huh all right it's a good turn to take a think I think we put our dude in the acid I hate to say it dust this dude kill you and then kill whichever one of you we can without knocking you into a building. So there's still going to be three enemies next turn. Two of them are going to be real weak. Like one HP weak, basically. And then we got a spider, and the spider is much more of a problem. So we'd really like to knock him into next Tuesday. Excuse me? <laughs> Another enemy just hopped out of the drink. Uh, all right. It's not a, not a great situation. I'll tell you right off the bat, like a little swap into a shot seems pretty nice here. Can we do something, like, real good? This guy's gonna hit a building, though. We'd really like to avoid that. What if you push this guy up? He's got 4 HP. No, he's not gonna have 4 HP. Like, you're so dustable. Maybe you're connected to the bill. Yeah, okay. I think I like. You gotta push this guy up. Oh, uh, but if you whip into your teammate, he's super dead. So there's another line, which is this double kill with a whip. 
You just gotta shoot this guy and kill him, unfortunately. Leads to this guy living, but... Leads to us living as well. It also does lead to the creation of a spider. You might as well keep blocking the spawn. I know you're like, kill this guy, but now we got this, this whole building situation here is a real problem. Uh, so I'm gonna put you here. You're a bit better. Oh, no, 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 I can't do that. If there was a spot where I could... We're in the ideal spot, actually. We only need to do one damage. But we also don't want to stand in the acid just to do less damage. I think that's about as good as it gets there. The spider... Oh, it's out. I always look at the animation and think it instantly died. Okay, well this guy's pretty killable, actually. Mmm, okay. Alpha crab's kind of a problem here. This is a pretty good situation. Oh, wait, can we just get them to... How much damage do you do? Three, I suppose. Well, we can easily get you to shoot this guy. Well, that's not even that useful. Kind of feel like... What we do is dump the firefly. Somebody's got to kill the crab. Or move him. So it'd be like a hornet... Or sorry, a spider gets killed like this. Crab, we block a spawn, push ya. And then you... Yeah, you... It'd be nice if you shot you, but we could also block a spawn and push you into the water. Which is actually acid. We only need to survive through one more turn of this nonsense, so... Oh, it's not gonna block a spawn. It blocked an attack, which is substantially worse. Scion? No, we already killed a Scion, didn't we? Five enemies. Building. Buildings. Building. Building. They're setting up an incredible whip. <laughs> uh, but it's not gonna quite get a kill. It was not going to get all the kills. It would get many. Unfortunately, I'm not angularly well positioned here. But I do believe, it can't be that, unfortunately. I do believe there's a way. I don't think that was it. It looked good, but... And we can get three kills, but this guy's still gonna land a shot. And it's gonna be a nasty one. It wouldn't be the end of the world if we have to make that move, but it's not that good. Well, let's see. What if we, if we do this? Solves a lot of problems. can't really move you around. Like, you're so easy to push into the drink. But then we lose the tank, and I'm not convinced that does enough for us. That doesn't do enough either. Hmm. I'm trying to get you to hit your friends, but that's not gonna work. I 
So the this play, if we go through the consequences, we would lose. How much damage do you do? Three. We'd lose two grid power. If we leave you alive, we're only losing one. Eighty percent chance to lose one. So it'd be like a hit here. I know we can't reset now. Um, shoot this dude into the drink. Whip these two boys. There might have been a way out, but you know what? I'm gonna. I'll take one grid power. Yep. You know? We completed all the objectives and bonus objectives. We got one grid power back immediately. Obviously, at this point of the game, I want to do better than just getting a wash, but I can live with it. I think this is going to be the hard one, but we kind of need to go for it. Five enemies on turn one means that, yeah, this is going to be the hard one. Please all line up on the acid on turn one. We don't need a perfect island so much as we need to, like, survive this particular instance. Can't help but notice you're not even close to being on the acid. Wow. You actually, like, all took ideal routes to avoid acidity of my city. See, like, I'm looking, and I see the weakness in their turn. Three of them are attacking the same direction. These two guys are the ones we got to worry about. It would be nice, although impossible, to get you to attack you. It's not impossible, but it would ruin the time pod, which would ruin Perfect Island. So it's kind of more than I'm willing to risk. How much do you do? You probably only deal one damage. It's not a big deal at all. You deal three damage. I could stand in front of that shot. I would prefer not to. Even the tank could stand in front of a shot. But again, I don't think it's advised. We have to protect the coal plant. Well, we don't have to now that I look at it. It's not a bonus objective. But it, it, it's part of our reconstruction would be doing that. One thing's for sure. Everybody's got to move out of this region. Uh, unfortunately, there's not too many opportunities to get like some serious conduit kills. That I can see at least. This guy we can take down. But it's going to take two actions, which stinks. Thought maybe it would go like ka -ch. it didn't go ka -ch. We gotta kill something on this turn. Ugh. This it's yet another turn that kinda sucks. And I'm not saying that's not my fault. Like, here's one line I see. You shoot, he's almost dead. You put this dude literally, like, anywhere. You whip this, and he's dead. And then you, I guess you would just try to... No, you have to do something with this guy. There's nothing that fits the bill except standing on top of the time pod. Or, like, just hitting him really hard. So, I think, let's, let's, we gotta handle it a different way. I think, like, you've got to be... we got to use you to get pushed. But then what do we do with this guy? You can still push him. And you can still kill him. Yeah, so I think something like this... 
This guy's easier to take out next turn. I hate that he's in acid. Don't get me wrong. It doesn't go through mountains. I hate this because we're so far away from the base. The other side of the base, I should say, but... Okay, we killed one nasty enemy and put another one in acid and we're going to wound a hornet. Please tell me a much weaker enemies. Okay, that's a substantially more annoying enemy. But there's two easy kills. Although that's fairly tempting as well. But I can't get there, so... Now you, you're an easy one. I can't kill you. Well, I, I mean, easily I could kill you. It would, it would be a laugh riot. But I could shoot you, so you're shooting a mountain. Because I really want to whip you, but then where are you going to go? Because you kind of got to cause problems down here so we don't lose this grid power. Ideally... You could, no, shooting a rock in front of them is not going to do anything. A rock on top of them would do a lot. And you can only move three spaces, so you're actually like in a, you're in a world of pain. I can kill you and hit you. I think you're still going to land a shot. I think i got to accept I'm probably going to lose a grid power here. I don't see a way out of it because we can't get our Rock Lord to a, a good location to stop it. Alternatively. Just trying to find other avenues. Because like, we definitely want to whip. It's, it's the easiest option. We don't need to attack this guy. He's not attacking anything himself. We just get a kill on this guy. The alpha crab is not going to be interrupted or anything, but like, can we... Ah, okay, I think, I think it looks like this. Come here. We have no armor because we're acidified, but that's fine. You're going to shoot this guy. It'll kill him, deal one damage to the dude behind him. If we could get close enough to whip, obviously that would do it, but... In that case, we should just murder... Yeah, I see the line. We are going to lose one grid power, but I think it's borderline necessary. So it'd be like, you whip, that's two kills. You shoot, that's one kill. We know it doesn't interrupt him, but we get a kill here at least. Okay. So, please, if there was ever a 20%, okay, that's fine. That happens all the time. We're going to get two power back if we handle this mission properly, so... This would be a great turn for us to block a couple spawns so we can still get our perfect island bonus. Um, and it's an easy whip and an easy kill. So we could just shoot a rock onto a spawn. So we want to get close enough to block a spawn next turn. So it would be like this, whip, rock a spawn. almost like more important for us to no it's probably more important for us to get a kill <laughs> yeah let's not be stupid all right so it's a scion oh wait are there even any spawns next turn there might be zero in which case we've already lost the perfect island bonus we have nothing to worry about yeah yeah there's no spawns next turn so um well there's like there's a turn. Mountains block electricity. Not that it matters if our rock mech dies. Cool. So we failed our perfect island bonus. We're going to get two grid power. <gasps> you idiot. We're going to get zero grid power back. You moron. You shot him in the... 
What an oversight. Dude, we don't deserve to win this. But we got a pilot. Oh my god, mech gains armored. Now you, we need to give you more power. For now, I'm going to give you health. But uh, power is coming, I promise. Sounds like the intro to Shout by Tears for Fears. Uh, we're so much more likely to kill four enemies afflicted by acid than to protect, than to defend the train and protect the defense lab, but... I have to be true to myself here. I think this is our best chance. Alright, you gotta get in there and, and hit some enemies next turn. Oh, man. Blitzkrieg squad is not going that well, but you never know, dude. We got another time pod. I love it. What on earth? Okay. Well, I mean, obviously, these are two easy kills for a whip. We don't really want the acid tank to die. Yeah, you know, I do kind of look at this. Oh, really? And say, um... You know, what if he's just shot a rock onto the spider? Then we don't have to deal with any more stupid spider eggs anymore. Something like this. Also pushes this guy. Uh, but pushing him is kind of bad. The other thing we could do... Uh, I guess we'd have to, that involves freeing him first. But you gotta move first. I could just shoot you. I want to inflict acid on this guy. I think that's probably got to be our first turn. But then I can just shoot you instead, and that's substantially better. I only need to do... I still need to do three damage to you. And the spider would live, but maybe that's okay. No, you still only take four damage total, huh? So that would probably lead to my death. So let's... That was a stupid move. Um, oh, I'm an idiot. You just push him into the water. But first you infect him with acid. Then you push him into the water. Everything's hunky dory. Okay, great reset. Best reset we've done all episode, that's for sure. Not that that's saying too much. I mean, I'll just tell you right off the bat. I'm looking at this and I'm going, You didn't watch the last turn, did you? At youtube.com slash northern line. Because that move just, it works every time. I don't see what you're trying to pull. Just come here and turn. Now, killing the Scion is extremely easy. So we probably want to make sure that we got acid on the Hornet instead. Even if it does leave us in acid. It's a, new, a very who cares sort of moment. I don't really care if we kill the Scion now. Seems fairly irrelevant to me. As long as we don't lose the Time Pod, I'm a happy man. So we got a single enemy. He's mad at me, which should come as no surprise. 
Would be nice to hit him with the acid, but... Nice doesn't always factor into it, you know? Just kidding. Alright. Great mission. Lovely, beautiful mission. Time pod, corporate rep. Didn't even come close to taking any grid power, which is, like, essential. A pilot. Mech starts every mission with a shield. I like it, but we've already had Bethany a thousand times. Okay, so we got our final mission. We do have a core. You got extra power, right? Now, what did you get? Plus two mech HP. Without a guarantee of acid, having that, I think, is really useful. This will be a good moment for us. Destroy five goos. Well, we've already lost Perfect Island, right? Maybe we didn't, now that I think about it. But we're going to try to kill five goos, but it's not like we have ice or anything to freeze them, so of course we're going to try. Okay, so the Scion is, like, actually, potentially the lowest priority target. What I'm looking at is the idea that if we shoot a goo, it'll die. Where do I go, though? Right here? If we shoot a goo with a rock, it'll die. Do we? Can we take care of everything on this turn? More or less, yeah. And I want them to come here. They moved further away, which is insulting, but the whip is going to be able to kill them so easily. So you kill this guy. I know we're going to have a spider next turn. Still decent. Block a spawn. Moving... Uh, Towards me. Come on, come on. Just stand closer. Stand closer. That's not close enough. Okay. You're being very annoying. So, one potentially cool thing. Obviously, a whip does a lot here. It also frees the tank. And that might be where we start to think about things in a little bit more detail. But this guy's kind of. Man, they really want to do a number on him. Um, what if we bring this guy over? And then we whip. It leaves this building. Uh, it, it means we're probably going to lose two grid power is what it means. So don't be so dumb. How do we deal with this if we don't do that? Well, we would whip free this guy. Five spaces. One, two. I don't even know if he'd be able to get there. Um, but we gotta we got to find some way to deal two damage to this guy. And the only way... Ah, there's a, there's a way to move him, at least. Yeah. So this is like, this is the clever play to kill Goose. I really, really think this is the better play to not take damage. And believe you me, I love the idea of pushing him onto the spawn. You have 2 HP? I'll just kill you. Here's kind of the, here's the nightmare, huh? <laughs> Repair? <laughs> uh, I don't know about that one. Uh, our artillery mech is going to die. And by artillery, you know what I mean. Our, our rock mech is going to die. 
This might be the end of our existence. But you know what? Permanent conduit. Please don't freeze me. No, 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 no. Stay. You gotta stay as a conduit. Okay, I mean, like, I'm looking at it, I'm going right off the bat. It's 100 kills. Shouldn't have acted so quickly, but, like, are you kidding me? Was it worth the loss? Hey, the pilot didn't die. The mech's disabled. I hope the pilot didn't die. Oh, you being frozen there is very bad. Connected? Not connected, but not frozen. Don't. <laughs> you wouldn't. You wouldn't out of after all we've been through. You're going to hit the corporate tower. You jerk. Well, we I think it's very simple. Unfortunately, we have to hope that the corporate tower survives. Because I gotta stop you guys from killing the building. And you got no other option, right? Like. Please, God, 80%. I didn't see any other way to get out of it. Ah! Oh, we're still like on the razor's edge here. I mean, we blew it. No, oh, killed in action, okay. Understood. We blew it big time. But you know what? We still have Bethany. Uh, that's a very good point. I honestly think we do reactor core grid grid. Well, thanks for watching. So we're still hanging in here at Three Islands Deep, but it's not looking great. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. We will see you next time. See ya!